In this video, we're going to discuss three-way matching. To do that, we're going to first make sure that we have three-way matching turned on. So let's go into our settings and we'll search for three-way matching. And we'll turn on three-way matching here for our invoicing and we'll click on save. So we're going to make sure that we only pay for bills which, receive, which uh, we receive the goods for. So let's turn that on, save it, let that reload, and we'll be ready to use three-way matching. It's a fairly simple concept, but super powerful. So we're going to go into purchasing here. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new purchase order for vendor one. And I'll select vendor one here and I'll add some products. And we'll just use our product two average cost product as an example. And we'll say we're going to receive 10 units in. So we'll do the typical flow where we send it off by email to our vendor and uh, finally confirm our order. And then what we need to do is receive these products in. But before I do that, I just want to mention that you'll see on our order line, we have received, we have billed, and we have the quantity that we ordered. So the system is always going to keep track of that. And we have a receipt for our product. So our receipt corresponds to our purchase order here, but we can have many receipts to a purchase order. And our bill is not going to care about the number of receipts. It's just going to look at how they're tied together and look at the number of units that we've received. So in this example, just to make it a little bit more complex, we'll uh, receive a few products and then create a back order, receive a few more, and then we'll leave a few on uh, unreceived. So let's go ahead into our receipt. We'll change our quantity here first to five, and we'll just validate that, and we'll create a back order. And now if we go back to our PO, we'll see that we ordered 10, received five, and have yet to be billed for any. And we see we have a new receipt generated, which was from that back order. Now let's go back to our receipt. We see the one that's ready. In this scenario, we'll receive three units in and we'll validate and we'll create another back order. Now we'll go back to our PO number 24. We have an additional receipt and we see here that we received eight units. Now, if we go to our request for quotation, we go to our icon out here to the right. We can look at our billing status. And we'll see for our PO number 24, the billing status is waiting bills because there is something uh, that we need to pay for, right? Because we have yet to create a bill for this. Now we might elect to create a bill here, but oftentimes our vendor will send us a bill, as I mentioned in previous videos, and we'll create a vendor bill and then match it to our PO number 24. So let's go ahead and go into accounting. We'll create a new vendor bill and we'll say this is for vendor one and we'll select number PO number 24. So you see the system automatically adds the eight units that we receive. However, sometimes the vendor is going to send us a bill, maybe we type it in manually here. And for example, they might say, okay, well, we, you order 10 and we're billing you for 10. Now we know that we only received eight and the system is keeping track of that. We can see that by going to other information on this tab and we see an exception here under should be paid. So there's an exception because we shouldn't pay this because we are being billed for 10 units as opposed to the eight that we receive. Now, of course, you can still pay for 10 units if you know you're going to receive maybe the two units tomorrow on that back order, and maybe you still wanna pay the vendor, that's a business decision. The system's not going to block you from that, but it's important to note that we can check and make sure um, whether or not we're being billed for the proper amount. So now if I try to confirm this or save this, um, we'll still see that this is in an exception and we see the purchase order attached to the top of our screen. If we go ahead and update this to eight units and we go to the other information tab, we'll say should be paid. We'll see should be paid and it's set to yes. So now we know that we're being billed for the proper amount. So now I can go ahead and confirm this. And if we go back to our purchase order, we'll see that we've ordered 10, received eight, and our bill build quantity is also eight. And if we go to our purchasing and look at our purchase order number 24 in this list view here, we see that it is fully billed because we, were, we created a bill for the proper amount um, corresponding to the amount that we received. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. If we receive the next units and we validate these two units that we were owed, now we have a quantity of 10 uh, for ordering, a 10 quantity for receiving, and an eight quantity for the amount that we build. Then we would go ahead and receive another bill from our vendor or create a bill here to pay for the rest of our items.